I'm Mary Beth Gassman and I'm a professor at the University of Pennsylvania uh, and I have appointments in the School of Education, in the History Department, as well as Africana Studies. And I want to talk for a few minutes about a new book that I have called Educating a Diverse Nation. It was published last year by Harvard University Press. And uh, I think it's a really important book for people to read, especially uh, I would encourage faculty members to read this book because one of the things that's happening across the country is that we have these enormous changes in demographics. You know, one of the things that we know is that the Latino population as well as the Asian population is growing at a much faster rate than other populations especially within the college environment and what I'm worried about as a professor is that my colleagues all across the nation at um, colleges and universities are not prepared to uh, teach this growing diversity although I think it's important to teach in inclusive ways no matter who you're teaching I think it is even more important when you have this um, incredible diversity in the classroom and so one of the things that I do in the book along with my co-author Cliff Conrad is that I'm really focused on what are the things that we can do to improve learning among all students. And so some of those things include the idea that we actually believe in the success of all students. And sometimes when I say that to people, they'll respond with, well, of course I think that my students are successful. But there are many, many instances where we don't think that students are successful. We take one look at someone and we just assume, based on maybe their race or their gender, um, sometimes it's the country they're from, sometimes they're, it's their religion if they're really vocal about that or if they dress in a way that might uh, indicate their um, religion. Um, we tend to look at them differently than we do uh, white majority students. And so what, the first thing that we try to get people to understand based on our research is you have to believe in the success of, of all your students. Another thing that you have to do is you have to find ways to teach in culturally uh, sensitive and relevant ways so that students in your classroom can see themselves in the curriculum and they can see themselves in your teaching and so that they always uh, feel that their voices are included and this is really empowering and these lessons that we have in the book are things that we learn from minority serving institutions and uh, for those of you who don't know there are 600 minority serving institutions in the country and they include historically black colleges, tribal colleges, Hispanic serving institutions and also Asian American Pacific Islander serving institutions. And these institutions have very diverse faculties, very diverse student bodies, and they also uh, can teach us a lot about educating this, this diverse nation that is upon us. Another thing that uh, we learned from these institutions is uh, that it's really important for faculty to put the needs of students first above their own needs. And for faculty, we're not taught to do that. We're taught to make our classes easy on us, to be efficient, and to really not put as much effort into teaching as we probably should. But what we learned is that when, when faculty put students' needs first, students learn more. So when you're designing your class, think about the needs of students, what they need to learn, and think about 21st century students and all of the kinds of skills that they need to learn. I also think that faculty need to be working together and communicating and talking about what they are doing in their classes and sharing their syllabi and uh, interacting around what students should be learning. What happens because faculty are very autonomous and I am a faculty member and I like my autonomy but one of the things that I would say is that we often don't talk to each other about what we teach and so we are teaching in silos and students are not getting the best experience because we teach in silos. Um, one of the other lessons that I think is so important is that at minority serving institutions what we tend to see is this, this ethos of peer support. So rather than pitting students against each other, which happens at most institutions across the country, I mean some of you will find familiar the look to your right, look to your left, one of you won't be here, um, that's very different within the minority serving institution context. One president of a historically black college said to me, you know, I like to say, look to your right, look to your left. You're responsible for both of those students. You need to ensure that they graduate. That's a very different message. And so one of the lessons is that we have to teach students that their success is tied to the success of their peers 
and that there's a lot of strength in helping each other succeed rather than operating in sort of a um an autonomous way where you know you you only succeed if you only help yourself so these are incredibly important lessons for the future so that we can be um you know a better educated country um, if you care about our, our, our reputation on a world scale, this is incredibly important. But for me, it's about equity and it's about justice. And it's, it's really important that all students have the opportunity to learn and that our teaching and our uh, engagement of students takes into account the perspectives and cultures and identities of all students. Mm -hmm.